You're listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin, making the real estate journey accessible to anyone. Hi, friends. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you don't know, my friend Siju and I co-host a podcast called Guts and Grind. We talk about real estate. Um, we don't claim to know everything, but we know a little bit, so we just wanted to share. This episode and some future episodes are going to be a little bit different. I'm taking over the show because I'm in the middle of a project and I want to do a mini-series on what uh, that looks like. So we purchased a house and we're doing the renovation process and we thought, hey man, this would be a good opportunity to just map out the whole thing, see what the whole thing looks like. So before we show pictures of the house and what it looks like and the, the damage it is and like fixing it up and all that stuff, that whole process, um, I wanted to talk about like rough numbers, um, the mindset of, of what I look for in a deal and also um, what's my out. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this uh, piece of paper. It's called the Norford Project because it's on Norford Street. And so I'm gonna write a little bit about um, what the process is gonna look like. Um, and yeah, hopefully that'll be helpful. Okay, so what I look for um, when I'm getting a property, I'm usually looking for a three bed, two bath house between 1,200, 2,000 square feet, right? That's generally like what I'm looking for. Nowadays, it's been very difficult to find a property. Uh, the market's hot. I'm sure you've heard that. The market's really hot. So I had to go by the way of a wholesaler. And so a wholesaler basically is a middleman between a distressed owner and a buyer and uh, puts the deal together. So um, for this example, um, I bought a well, not this example, this property that I'm going through, I'm just using rough numbers to make it easy. The wholesaler found me a house for $150,000. That's a rough number. Um, when I walked it, I saw it and it looked like I guesstimated, let's just call it 50 for a rehab. 150 to purchase, 50 for rehab. To get into these deals, um, you have to have like hard money or a cash offer. I don't have that kind of cash to be able to drop like 200K uh, on buying and rehabbing. I went the route of a hard money lender. And so basically what that is, is they'll lend based on the asset, the property itself, and um, they'll give you a certain percentage of it or whatever. So you bring a little bit of money down, they pay for the house in cash, and then they're the lender. But the caveat, I mean, the great thing is like they close quickly. Um, it's really quick turnaround, which I experienced, which is awesome. The caveat, it's extremely high interest rate. So we're looking at a loan for, for this amount. It's not even the full, it's like half of that. But it's 11% interest, which is insane. It's crazy. But, you know, to get into the deal, that's what it is. So the goal is I purchase the property with the hard money lender. I um, use half of the rehab uh, with that and the other half is coming out of my pocket. And then... Um, once everything is done and the, the house is actually pretty and uh, ready to go, I go to my traditional lender and I say, hey, I purchased it. I'm all in this house for 200 k uh, They will give me 75% uh, a loan for 75% of the value of the house. So that equates to a traditional loan of on 150 right? So then I get rid of this 11% loan because this loan is paying it back. And then I restart a new loan uh, with like a 3% interest rate, which is definitely what I want to be in. Um, and to go through this process, it was just a way to get the property, really. The ideal situation is I would have cash and just buy it, but I don't. And so it's important to get creative. Um, again, these numbers are very rough, but they're, they're relatively close to what we're looking at. Um, <clears throat> so in this scenario, I would be all in on the project for 50000 uh, on a $200,000 value property. And so that's basically what it is. So we're in the process right now. In the coming episodes, you're going to see um, really the whole process, what the house looks like, um, the process of getting it renovated, buying flooring and cabinets and whatever. Um, so hopefully it's entertaining. If you um, are not subscribed to the Guts and Grind channel, please go to YouTube and go to Guts and Grind and uh, I'll put a link somewhere. And so that way um, it would be great if you could subscribe and just kind of follow us and leave comments and just let us know what you think because uh, we're having a lot of fun making these shows and we just want to make sure that it's of value as well. So let us know your thoughts and um, see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin. Be sure to tune in next time.